Hi, I'm Daphne Richards and this is Augie. Our question this week comes from Shannon Viscardi about a troubled Texas ash tree, which has developed spots on its leaves. We consulted Dr. Kevin Ahn, extension plant pathologist and director of the Texas Plant Disease Diagnostic Lab for this one, and he reminded us that disease development is always reliant upon environmental conditions. When weather is rainier and or cooler than normal, diseases take advantage of the situation. And when spring arrives earlier or later than normal, this also contributes to disease development, with some, perhaps normally less common, diseases becoming more prevalent due to abnormal weather patterns. The weather also has an effect on our ability to treat for diseases, since many products should not be used once temperatures turn hot and the air becomes dry. And that is the case here. The problem on this ash tree appears to be some sort of fungal leaf spot. So while a fungicide would be in order, by the time Shannon noticed the problem, summer had settled into central Texas in full force. Also, fungal treatments for leaf issues are most effective when the leaves are developing, before their waxy cuticle develops. Once summer arrives, most plants take a break from growing, so no new, susceptible leaves are formed, thus no need for treatment. Another reason to avoid treatment in summer is that in our extreme heat, products can easily burn and damage the plant. And so our best recommendation is to let this problem run its course and see if it develops again next year when you can get on top of the situation from the very start. Our plant this week is the American Beautyberry, Calicarpa Americana, a Central Texas native that makes a great addition to shady spots in the garden, although it can take a bit of sun and brightly filtered light. Growing to about four to six feet tall and wide in most situations, this deciduous, somewhat shrubby plant may get even larger with ample rainfall and healthy soil conditions. It has a mostly upright growth habit until it produces its gorgeous berries, which form in the axles of the leaves, causing the branches to droop slightly and quite attractively. Listed as hardy to zone six, American Beauty Berry returns reliably to Central Texas gardens each year, unless other environmental conditions, such as too much sun or not enough water, cause it to perish. As you might surmise, the ample berry clusters produced from summer through fall are a wonderful food source and attractant for birds. Of course, it flowers prior to making those berries, but you'll hardly notice the tight clusters of delicate white bloom before the bright fuchsia to deep purple berries catch your attention. But butterflies and bees sure notice them. As with most shade-loving plants, American Beautyberry prefers a little extra water, so plant close enough to your home so that you can give it a thorough soaking in times of extreme heat and lack of rainfall. Our viewer picture this week is from Jan Gessler of Blue Bonnet and Coneflower blooming together in July. We'd love to hear from you, so please click on klru.org ctg to send us your questions, pictures, and videos. Mm -hmm.